Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from some applications of trigonometry chapter. Now, this question has three sub questions. The first sub question is of one mark, the second sub question is of one mark, and the third sub question is of two marks, and it has an or question as well. That is, either you attempt the first one or the second one. So, let us begin with the first question now. Lakshman Jhula is located 5 kilometers northeast of the city of Rishikesh in the Indian state of Uttarakhand. The bridge connects the villages of Tapovan to Jong. Tapovan is in Tehri district on the west bank of the river, while Jong is in Pauri district on the east bank. Lakshman Jhula is a pedestrian bridge also used by motorbikes. It is a landmark of Rishikesh. A group of class 10 students visited Rishikesh in Uttarakhand on a trip. They observed from a point P on a river bridge that the angles of depression on opposite banks of the rivers are 60 degree and 30 degree respectively. The height of the bridge is about 18 meters from the river. First question is find the distance PA. So in this question, they have given some information on Lakshman Jula, which is a bridge and which helps the pedestrians, also the people on motorbikes to cross the river. And here they have mentioned that class 10 students decided to visit Rishikesh on a trip. And when they were on this bridge at point P, they observed that the opposite banks of the river, which means this end, the point A represents one of the banks of the river and point B represents its opposite bank. And when they are looking at point A and since they are looking down, their eyesight makes an angle of depression of 60 degrees when they look at the bank A. And when they are looking down at the opposite bank B, their eyes make an angle of depression 30 degrees with the line of sight. Now we have to find out the distance PA. Now here I have just highlighted in red and yellow all the important information which was given in this diagram. Now I will make a skeletal diagram over here exactly representing the bridge so that it will be easy for us to make the calculations. So on the right hand side I have drawn a skeletal diagram representing the bridge and all the important points and lines they have given over here. So this blue line or the purple line which we have drawn over here represents the bridge on which the students are standing at point P and A and B represents the opposite banks of the river and entire width from A to B represents the river on which this bridge is being built. And the height of the bridge they have given from the river as 18 meters as it is mentioned over here. Height of the bridge is about 18 meters from the river. So we have marked here 18 meters. And when the students look at point A, the angle of depression is 60 degree. And when they look at point B, the angle of depression is 30 degree. At this moment, we need to find out what is the distance PA. So to find out the distance PA, I am going to consider the right angle triangle PCA. So let me write here. Consider the right angle triangle PAC, which I have redrawn over here. I have broken down this triangle and written here. Now, from the diagram, we can say that the angle at P will be equal to the angle at A because the purple line, the bridge and the river, surface of the river are parallel to each other. So they make an alternating angle. So if angle P is given as 60 degree, angle A is also going to be 60 degree that is alternating angles of the parallel lines that is the bridge and the reverse surface. So here I am going to write angle A as 60 degree. Now here PC represents height of the bridge from the river and it was given as 18 meters so we have written over here. Now we have to find out what is the length of PA. Now for this we are going to make use of a trigonometric ratio that is angle A is 60 degree so the side opposite to the angle A will be PC. So 18 meters becomes the opposite side. And we know that the side opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse. And the remaining side default becomes the adjacent side. Now in this case, we have the opposite side given. We need to find out the hypotenuse. So the adjacent side is not needed. So to find out PA, we are going to make use of the trigonometric ratio sine. So let me write here. So sine of angle A, it is equal to opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Now angle A is given as 60 degree. So we have written sine 60 degree is equal to. Now opposite side is PC and the hypotenuse is PA. Now sine 60 is a standard angle and we know that its value is root 3 over 2. So here in place of sine 60, we have substituted square root of 3 over 2 
is equal to now PC is 18 meters so 18 divided by PA the next step is to cross multiply that is let us take PA on the left hand side and square root of 3 over 2 comes on the right hand side so we get PA is equal to now 18 multiplies with 2 and the square root of 3 comes to the denominator now 18 times 2 gives us 36 divided by square root of 3 now remember that we should not have any square root terms in the denominator we need to rationalize this denominator and get the answer in the proper format so the next step is rationalizing the denominator so we have written 36 over square root of 3 times now rationalization is taking the square root term and multiplying it with the numerator as well as the denominator so in the numerator 36 and square root of 3 gets multiplied so we have here 36 times square root of 3 whereas in the denominator square root of 3 multiplies with square root of 3 giving you square root of 9 which is equal to 3 now 36 and 3 can divide each other that is 3 1 times is 3 and 3 12 times is 36 so here the value of PA we get it as 12 root 3 meters so this is the length of the line PA now let us move on to the second sub question find the distance PB so let us again consider the skeletal diagram which we had drawn to solve this question now here we need to find out the distance PB that is from the point where the students are standing to the point on bank B now for this I am going to consider the right angle triangle PBC so I have drawn the right angle triangle PBC and PC was 18 meters I have written over here and the angle B is marked as 30 degree this is because the bridge and the surface of the river are parallel to each other and the angle of depression at point P was given as 30 degree so angle PBC also becomes 30 degree that is the alternating angle of the parallel lines and in this case the parallel lines represent bridge and the river so that is why the angle PBC becomes 30 degree now here opposite to angle 30 degree is PC again so 80 meters again becomes the opposite side now here we need to find out PB which is the hypotenuse so again we do not need the adjacent side over here and since we have the opposite we need to find out the hypotenuse we are going to make use of the sine trigonometric ratio so here we have written sine of angle B is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse and the angle B we found it as 30 degree so we have written here sine 30 is equal to opposite side is PC divided by the hypotenuse is PB now sine 30 is a standard angle whose value is 1 over 2 and the value of PC is 18 meters so let us substitute over here now so sine 30 is 1 over 2 is equal to 18 divided by PB now again the cross multiplication that is PB multiplies with 1 and 2 multiplies with 18 giving us PB is equal to 2 times 18 which is nothing but 36 meters so the distance PB in this case is 36 meters now let us move on to the C sub question find the width AB of the river so for this we need to find out the length AC and length BC and take the total or the sum of these two lengths so again let us begin by breaking down this triangle PAB into two right angle triangles the first one is going to be the right angle triangle PAC so here we have considered the right angle triangle PAC and redrawn over here and angle A was 60 degree and PC was 18 meters now here opposite to angle 60 is 18 meters so this becomes the opposite side PA is the hypotenuse so default AC becomes the adjacent side and in this case for this question as we are trying to find out the length AC we need the adjacent side rather than the hypotenuse so since we have the opposite we need to find out the adjacent and we also have the angle we are going to make use of the tan trigonometric ratio so here we have written tan of angle A is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side and the value of angle A is 60 degree the opposite side is PC and the adjacent side is AC and tan 60 is a standard angle whose value is square root of 3 and PC value is 18 so we have substituted it over here so tan 60 is square root of 3 is equal to 18 divided by AC now cross multiplication AC takes the place of square root of 3 
and square root of 3 comes in place of AC. So, we have written here AC is equal to 18 divided by square root of 3. Now, again as we know in the denominator, we should not have the square root terms. We have rationalized the denominator in the next step. That is 18 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 over square root of 3. Now, in the numerator, we get 18 square root of 3. And in the denominator, we get square root of 3 times square root of 3, which gives us 3. Now, 18 and 3 go in the table of 3. That is 3, 1 times is 3 and 3, 6 times is 18. So, we have found out the length of AC as 6 square root of 3 meters. Now, our next focus is finding the length of BC. So, for that, we are going to consider the right angle triangle PBC. So, here we have written consider the right angle triangle PCB and angle B we had got it as 30 degree and the value of PC is 18 meters. Now, here again PC is the opposite side as it is opposite to the 30 degree. We need to find out BC which is an adjacent side and since we have opposite, we need to find out the adjacent side. We are again going to make use of the tan trigonometric ratio. So, we have written here tan of angle B is equal to opposite side over the adjacent side. Now, angle B is 30 degree and the opposite side is PC and adjacent is BC. So, we have written it over here. And tan 30 is a standard angle again and its value is going to be 1 over square root of 3. And PC value is 18. So, 1 over square root of 3 is equal to 18 over BC. Now, let us cross multiply. That is BC multiplies with 1 and square root of 3 multiplies with 18. So, we get the value of BC as 18 square root of 3. Now, once we have got the value of BC, we have the value of AC. We can find out the total value of AB as sum of AC and BC. So, let us write here. AB is equal to the length AC plus the length BC. So, we have the length AC as 6 root 3. So, we have written here 6 root 3 plus BC is 18 root 3. Now, here since the square root terms are same, we can add the numbers. So, 6 plus 18 gives us 24 and we are going to keep the square root term as it is. So, the answer we get is 24 times square root of 3 meters. Now, this is the width of the river from point A till point B. Now, let us move on to the OR sub question. Find the height BQ if the angle of elevation from point P to point Q is 30 degree. Now, here we need to find out the height BQ. If the students standing at point P look upwards at point Q making an angle of elevation of 30 degree. Now, if we look at the height BQ, it is made up of two heights. One is the height BR and the other height is QR. Now, the height BR is same as the height PC because the river and the bridge are parallel to each other. So, PC BR is a rectangle. So, if PC is 18 meters, then BR is also going to be 18 meters. And similarly, since we said that PC BR is a rectangle, we had got the value of BC as 18 root 3 meters, which means the length PR is also going to be 18 root 3 meters. So, let me write down the data here. So, PC is equal to BR is equal to 18 meters. Similarly, BC is equal to PR, which is 18 root 3 meters. Now, once we have written this data, let us focus on the right angle triangle PQR. Now, we have redrawn the triangle PQR and we have marked the length PR as 18 root 3 meters. The angle P is 30 degree. Now, here we need to find out the length QR to find the total height. Now, opposite to angle 30 degree is QR. So, this becomes the opposite side. And here the adjacent side we have got. We do not need the hypotenuse. So, here we are going to make use of tan trigonometric ratio to find out the value of QR. So, tan of angle P is equal to opposite side over adjacent side. Angle P is given as 30 degree in the diagram. Is equal to opposite side as QR over the adjacent side as PR. Now, tan 30 value is 1 over square root of 3. Is equal to we need to find out the QR divided by the length of PR is 18 root 3 meters. Now, here square root of 3 and square root of 3 cancels from both the sides of the equal to sign and 18 multiplies with 1 giving the value of QR as 18 meters. Now, from the diagram, total height BQ is made up of BR and RQ. 
or QR and BR value we have as 18 and QR value we just found it as 18 again. So let us write down the total height BQ as BR plus QR. Now here substituting their respective values 18 plus QR is also 18. So 18 plus 18 gives us the height QB or BQ as 36 meters. So this is the total height of BQ that is from point B till point Q that is 36 meters. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video and if you found this video useful then you can check out these playlists where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.